I'm back with a handy dandy laptop and guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to put Linux on this bad boy and I'm about to put Roblox on it. What we're going to do today is we're going to compare the performance of Roblox on Linux and Windows using this really bad laptop that I have and we're going to see what is better. For an activity like this, you need to be equipped with a nice USB. Now what I have here is the Samood SB, all right? So this is going to be essential for our video. Now before even using the Samood SB, we're going to need to get into a game of Roblox and you know, see how the game plays on this laptop. For this test, I'm going to be playing the same Roblox game on both devices and that game is called Frontlines, a high-end FPS Roblox game. I am making quite literally the biggest compromise risking my iPhone when recording this, but let's go for it. Okay, I got my webcam up here. I got my laptop over here. You guys can see, you know, my, me wiggling the finger. And yeah, this is, bro, this is complete f ass. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, This computer is completely reset because, you know, I had to reset it. It was doing really bad. And my game is playing like by the way, I, like these are my specs. By the way, I have like a one terabyte SSD. I bought, I got about 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and I got about an NVIDIA GT. It's like some NVIDIA Studio GPU, right? And uh, what can I do about it? Oh my gosh, you guys can see me. But uh, yeah, you guys literally see how bad that game was playing, right? I hope you guys saw all of that, okay? And because of that, we're gonna have to go over to Linux and see how much better that is. Because a lot of users have reported saying that Linux is a way better option for Roblox. And you know, it might be the better operating system. Who knows? I'm playing, no Windows is better. Anyways, just as I mentioned, there are a couple of things that you're gonna need to get ready for this process, okay? You're gonna need a USB. I'd say at least 16 gigabytes is gonna be perfect for you. And you're gonna need to go on these two websites. You're gonna need to go on Rufus and Ubuntu's website. Okay, so Rufus, you're you're gonna need this to make a bootable USB to, you know, boot into the installer. As you guys can see, it just create bootable USB drives the easy way. And then you're just gonna need Ubuntu to, of course, install Ubuntu, of course, like what? Anyways, to get started with that, just click on products, Ubuntu desktop. By the way, I'll put the link to this in the description. I don't know if you guys wanna really just install Ubuntu on your operating system because it is definitely way different from Windows and there's kind of like a different support for different applications. So I just suggest dual booting, but yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll get into that after all of this, okay? Anyways, click download Ubuntu desktop into our AMD. Just click download. That's downloading. Okay, let's just wait for that to finish downloading. In the meantime, while Ubuntu is downloading, we're going to be downloading Rufus. Okay, I'm going to put the link to this in the description as well. Click download. Download the one that you can depending on the kind of system that you have. ARM64 chips, download the ARM64 one. 86 bit, download the 86 bit one. If you have a 64 bit, download the 64 bit one. Boom. Okay, now that that's dealt with, let me plug my handy dandy USB in. All right, y'all, it is in there. And y'all can see that's the Samood SB. Yes, it is 512 gigabytes of storage storage a samsung flash drive usb that's crazy right why would i spend so much money on a usb like that all right it is finished downloading and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the selection okay now to get all of this sorted out you're gonna have a boot selection your device uh click select and what you're gonna want to do is select the ubuntu i'm gonna keep our label the samood sb because you know why not it is a samood sb and literally after you put the boot selection just click start and it's basically gonna get it ready to install before you even click ok I want you guys to realize that this is going to destroy all of the data on your USB so make sure you transfer all the data on your USB to somewhere safe like your desktop alright y'all now if you are trying to dual boot Ubuntu on your Windows desktop I suggest you guys watch a YouTube video because I did not do that I single handedly just went raw into this installation and I had a ton of fuck ups it took so much time to get Ubuntu installed and sober installed which I'm also going to leave a video on how to install but yeah we've just got it installed now marks the testing phase where we will try the same game out on Linux, but there are a few things that you're going to want to know before you even get into the gameplay okay you're going to want to install your gpu drivers or whatever drivers that you have ensure that your gameplay goes slowly because i tried playing without drivers and i'm not going to lie you don't want to do that oh my gosh okay wait this isn't too bad the thing that i really don't like with Linux so is it's sort of the i'm actually going from 60 to 90 fps jesus Linux is actually doing some oh my god then it might be tough, but um, you know, we'll apply a little bit of more optimizations if you guys know what I mean. But shit, this shit is definitely playing way better than Windows. I had so many problems installing it, and finally we got it sorted out. Wi-Fi drivers installed my NVIDIA drivers. As you guys can see, Linux did a way better job than Windows, and you know, I just had to have some fun with it. Okay, so I put my resolution all the way to 800 by 600, and this is how it went. Well, why is this just way better to play on? I don't know. It's low-key like a, it's aesthetic thing. Oh, I almost showed him. I wonder what my ping is, cause. I really don't think it's that good. What did they say? I have 83 ping. That's oh. actually not bad for a Linux. I killed him. Are you fucking serious? Just so y'all know, though, I was also recording uh, on this. I had this as my phone stand because I actually don't have a tripod. So please, guys, help me out. That was definitely a whole ton of disaster, and I would never let to do that again. But 
I may consider upgrading this ThinkPad and installing Linux to use on it as a personal device. As you guys see, I already have a Mac right there and I sort of use that as my personal editing device for content and business. But you know, if I upgrade this ThinkPad, I'm definitely gonna end up getting um Linux on it and doing more with it. And if y'all wanna know about that journey, let me know. Yeah, we ran Roblox on Linux and it was a whole disaster. I definitely do not wanna do that again. But if you're willing to take the risk, just understand that it's a lot of work, okay? And don't think that this is something you could just get into easily because if you mess up your installation of Linux and mess up all of your boot options, boom, all of your shit on Windows is gone forever. So actually beware of um what you're getting into and understand what you're getting into before even doing this at all. Thankfully, I dual booted my Linux, but I'm a very safe person. I know how to read shit. Sometimes people don't know how to read things and they fuck up the instructions and they end up messing it up for themselves. But yeah, that was me installing Sobra on Linux. Also, it was so bad that this video took a month to produce because my Linux literally did not have Wi-Fi on it. So I just thought to myself, oh, I should go and fix the Wi-Fi and I finally did. And I finally got to finish this video. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. And if you guys want more, make sure to subscribe and yeah, take care and peace.